Welcome to the Lightning Fast Series with Informatica Cloud. In this short training video, I will show you how to install the Informatica Cloud application from the Salesforce App Exchange. I will also show you how to create your first data synchronization task in the Informatica Cloud application. From your Salesforce homepage, go to the drop down in the top right hand corner of the screen and select Add App Exchange Apps. From the App Exchange homepage, search on the term Informatica. You will see two results. Click on the Salesforce Integration Data Loader link and then click the Get It Now button. You'll be prompted to walk through the steps to install the application. Continue following the prompts until the installation is completed. Once the installation is completed, you can return to your Salesforce homepage, select the Application drop-down menu again, and select Informatica Data Loader. To launch the Informatica Cloud application, click the single sign-on button. The first page you will see when the Informatica Cloud application is launched is the Quick Setup page. This page is your jumping off point for creating data integration tasks in Informatica Cloud. You'll notice that this page actually provides you with a step-by-step -step high level overview of the things you'll need to do. Let's begin by reviewing the available data services. The Data Lotus service. This is Informatica's free service. It can be used for simple data migration tasks and allows you to connect Salesforce to one other endpoint. There is no limit on the number of records you can run through the service, and the service will never expire. The Data Synchronization Service. This is Informatica's Advanced Data Integration Service. It allows you to perform multi-step integrations between Salesforce and a variety of other endpoints, including databases, flat files, and other SaaS applications such as Oracle eBusiness Suite, Twitter, and more. This service is offered on a free trial basis for 30 days. The Data Replication Service. This service allows you to quickly and easily replicate data from Salesforce to a database or flat files to be used for things like backups, staging tables, or data warehousing. The service replicates data and schema, so as you make changes to your Salesforce org, data for new and changed fields and objects are automatically captured. This service is offered on a free trial basis for 30 days. The Data Quality Assessment Service. This service allows you to quickly assess the quality of your data. The service looks at things like duplicates, address validity, and field completeness and conformity, and provides graphical dashboards for tracking data quality over time. This service is offered on a free trial basis for 30 days. To install the Secure Agent and build your first data synchronization task, click the Get Started button in the Data Synchronization section. To download and install the agent, click the Download Agent button. Choose your platform and click the Download button. Click the Run button to download and automatically start the installation. Once the download has completed, click the Run button to start the installation. You can optionally change the installation directory for the secure agent, and then click the Next button then click the Install button. When the installation is complete, you can click the Done button. Let's take a moment to visit the Informatica Cloud Community site so that we can download some sample data to use in building our first task. Note that the URL to access this site is iodusers.ning.com. From the site, click on the first topic in the forum, Getting Started with Informatica Cloud. Then scroll down and select the Getting Started with Informatica Cloud topic. Once you're in the topic, you can scroll down and click to download the sample data.zip file. Save the file to your desktop and then click Open. You'll see there are two files 
in the zip file. You can select them both and extract them to your local drive. To make things simple, I'll create a new directory called Informatica Data Files. Then click the Extract button to save the files to the new directory. I'm now ready to build my first data synchronization task. Let's return to Informatica Cloud. To get started, click the Next button. Informatica Cloud provides you with a simple six-step wizard for creating and editing tasks. On the first step of the wizard, you can specify a name, description, and the operation for the task. I'm going to name this task my first task. I'm going to stick with the default operation of insert, but I could optionally select another operation from the drop-down list. I'm going to click Next to move to the next step of the wizard. Step 2 of the wizard is where you will define the source or where the data is going to come from. In Informatica Cloud, you can create any number of reusable connections to connect to endpoints such as flat files, databases, Salesforce, and more. To create a new connection, click on the New button. You will be prompted to enter a name and description for the connection and to select the connection type. I'll call this connection My Data Files. In this case, the source will be the CSV file that I downloaded from the community site, so I will select flat file as the type. When you select flat file, you will be prompted to select the agent to use for the connection. Now I want to locate the directory that contains my source file. If you know the exact path, you can type it here. Optionally, you can click the Browse button to search for the file. I'm going to locate the directory I created on my C drive when I downloaded the sample data from the community site. I'm going to select the directory and click OK. At this point, it is always a good idea to test your connection. To test the connection, click the Test button. Once the connection has been established and tested, click OK to save the connection. Once the connection has been defined, you'll need to select the object or the file that you want to use. You'll notice that the drop-down contains the two files that we downloaded from the community site. In this case, I'll select the contacts file. You'll notice that Informatica Cloud provides you with a preview of the source data. I'm now ready to define my data target, so I'll click the Next button. Step 3 of the wizard is where you will define your target or where the data is moving to. In this case, we're going to insert data into Salesforce, so I'll need to create a new Salesforce connection. To do this, I'll click on the New button. I'm going to give the connection a name, and this time I'll select Salesforce as the connection type. I'll need to enter my Salesforce username and password, as well as my Salesforce security token. If you don't have a copy of your Salesforce security token, you can reset it. I'll show you how to do this in Salesforce. To reset your Salesforce security token, click on the Setup link, and then click on the Reset Your Security Token link. Then click the Reset Security Token button. You will receive an email from support at salesforce.com. Open the email and copy your security token. Return to Informatica Cloud and enter your Salesforce username. And your Salesforce password. 
then paste the copied security token in the security token field. Click test to test the connection. Then click OK to save the connection. The next thing you'll need to do is select the Salesforce object that you want to insert data into. In this case, we're going to insert contacts, so I will select the contacts object. Click Next. In this case, I'm going to skip step four of the wizard because we won't be defining any data filters. Step five of the wizard is where you define the field mappings for your task, or how fields in your source file will be mapped to fields in your target system. You'll notice that some of the fields have already been mapped for you by Informatica Cloud. Based on the field names, the system will auto map as many fields as it can. Map fields are indicated by a green checkbox in front of the field's name. To map additional fields, I will simply click and drag the field from the source on the left side of the screen to the target on the right side of the screen. Let's map the first name field. I can then map the full name and last name fields as well. Once all the fields are mapped, I'll click the Next button. Step 6 of the wizard allows you to define a schedule for the task. Note that the free data loader service only gives you one option here, daily. However, with the data synchronization service, you can define any type of schedule. I'll go ahead and select a daily schedule and click Save to save my task. I can now run the task by clicking the green Run button. While the task runs, you'll see the activity monitor. This allows you to monitor the task's progress. When the task completes, you'll see the activity log. Here you can check the status of the task and the results. In this case, our task ran successfully and 21 rows were inserted. Thank you for watching this Getting Started video. If you have further questions, click the support link in the Informatica Cloud application or visit the community site for more information.